And I'm going to reread again, verse number two, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Another reason why the heathen don't want to have anything to do with God is because they don't like God's rules. So we're talking about breaking the bands and breaking their cords. I don't want anything controlling me. I don't want to have this law. I don't want to have these rules. I don't want to have this set of commandments that I'm supposed to live by. I want to have nothing to do with it. That's what the heathen is raging against. Because they want to live a life that's all about them and all about their lusts and whatever they want to do. And they have no interest in what God commands them to do. The Bible says in 2 Peter 2, you don't have to turn there, but turn if you would, please. Keep your place in Psalm 2. Turn to Proverbs chapter 1. Just go forward past the book of Psalms into Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 1. In 2 Peter chapter 2, verse number 9, 2 Peter 2, of course, is a, is a passage that talks about false prophets. It talks about people who are reprobate, who people who are rejected of God, very evil, wicked people. 2 Peter 2, verse 9 says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the, uh, the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. So it's talking about people, it says, you know, God knows how to deliver the people who are godly, out of trouble, out of temptations, and he knows how to reserve the unjust under the day of judgment. But then of those unjust, of the unbelievers, he says, but chiefly, them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness and despise government. They hate government. It's not just talking about like some human government. It's not like they just despise the monarchy or despise whatever. They despise God's governing of them. They don't want God's rules. They don't want to be governed by God's laws. These are the people that 2 Peter 2 is talking about. They, they hate God's laws. These are the heathen of Psalm 2. And it says, presumptuous are they self-willed. They're not trying, they don't care about the will of the Lord. They're self-willed. They're self-motivated. They care only about themselves. And they're not afraid to speak evil of dignities, of dignified things, of things. That are, they don't care about speaking evil of it. They didn't care about speaking evil about, you know, the miracles that were being done. They spake evil of Jesus Christ when he was healing people saying, oh yeah, you're doing that just through the prince of the devils by Beelzebub. They're speaking evil of Jesus when he's doing good. They're self-willed. They despise government. They want to have nothing to do with God, even though on, on, you know, their outward appearance is, oh yeah, we love God. You know, these people have a, have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. These people, you know, they appear religious, but they really only care about themselves. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. 